Hello everyone, so as you know of last year, Parsec decided to take out the Parsec Arcade function, so it's very hard to play with randoms now, as they expect you to basically share your Parsec game invite link to Discord servers or your friends' DMs. However, there's this tray tool, which is basically another Parsec Arcade, that allows you to host your rooms to the public again, so you can play with randoms like you used to. There may not be that many people hosting right now, though. But basically, you can put your room up and put your Parsec Game Invite link here. And a thumbnail, max guests, description for any useful information when you put your room up. Your host name, of course, and your room name. Yeah, as you see, my room is up. I am hosting pretty much nothing, <laughs> just for an example. And in case you don't want to do that, there is other ways you can still host your room. So, one of those ways is Siren's website. This was, I think, the first website uh, for Parsec arcade style hosting. It's pretty simple. You just select a game. I will choose... Uh, I guess for this demonstration, I'll do this. And as you see, it's as easy as that. Your room will appear here for people to join you publicly. Other than that, there is the TS Bar website. Uh, I can actually pull it up from here. Okay. You can also put your arcade room type here. Uh, there's really nobody hosting right now. I will show you the process that goes into it. It's kind of like putting out a form, really. Uh, your room game title. How many people will play. Session end time. Or basically when the room will close on the website. Your Parsec invite link. You can add extra details and rules to your room here. And the Discord note is for if you want to ping roles amongst other things related to your Discord server. You need to set up the webhook for your server in your profile settings if you were to do that though. Okay, and I believe my room is up. Yep, so that's the TS Bar website. That's how you would host there. As for any useful tools, you can also use Soda. As you know, Parsec Soda originally stopped working after a verification issue, not allowing you to verify. But Mickey found a complete legal way to get around that and brought back Parsec Soda. And when you use it, it will actually post your room to the tray tool automatically for you so you don't have to really do much um, so you basically need to compile the app yourself now through this guide here I of course will be linking everything in the description below I'm not gonna read this whole guide to you because yeah we're not here for that but anyhow those are the three websites. And if you didn't know, Mickey's is pretty much just a website, but he made an app that you can just use on your computer by a desktop app. So those are the three Parsec arcade hosting websites we have to use and the Parsec trade tool. And we have Parsec Soda. So, 
Bailey, that's it. <laughs>